Hello, Mary Elementary Second Grade students. Mr. Davis here. We're getting ready to do our next reading. My hair is a little puffy today. So I have a new story for us to read today, and it is Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day by Judith Wurst and illustrated by Ray Cruz. The print was kind of small. I had to look and see there. So let's read about Alexander and his Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair, and when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard, and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running, and I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. You can tell his disappointment with the way his day is starting there. My pages are sticking together. There we go. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box, and Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have, the fr have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window, too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said, if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be car sick. No one even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At school, Mrs. Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Mayo was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone that the ice cream part falls off and the cone part lands in Australia. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag, and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on top. Guess who mother forgot to put in their dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. That's what it was, because after school, Mom took all us all to the dentist, and Dr. Fields found a cavity in it just in me. Come back next week, and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australia. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot, and while we were waiting for my mom to get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy, and then when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby, and... While I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. I am having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, I told everybody. No one even answered. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. 
I chose blue ones with red stripes, but then the shoe man said, We're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. When we packed up, my dad picked up my dad at his office. He said I couldn't play with his copying machine, but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk, and I was careful as I could, could be expected for my el except my elbow. He also said don't fool around with his phone, but I think I called Australia. My dad said please don't pick up him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. There go my pages sticking again. There were lima beans for dinner, and I hate limas. There was kissing on TV. I hate kissing. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain, and I had to wear my rainbow train, rain, railroad train pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. When I went to bed, Nick took my, the pillow he said I could keep, and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out, and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not with me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says some days are like that. Even in Australia. Have you ever had a terrible bad day and things just don't seem to work out? I know that I have. And sometimes it just makes it easier to just go back to bed and wake up and start the next day over with a better attitude and hope things go better. So I hope you've had a good time with this story. Remember to answer your question on the tic-tac-toe board. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. And hopefully we will be able to have some more fun. Talk to you later. Bye. Here are the list of your questions for the tic-tac-toe board. Enjoy answering your question for your story. Have a great afternoon.